My name is Abe Chaber. The two weapons on the table are identical other than for the one on my right, which I am now touching, being somewhat cosmetically more attractive. Uh, the modifications made to this particular weapon were so that it would be an acceptance of Uzi magazine instead of a uh, completely new fabricated magazine, which wouldn't be required. The T2 is an open bolt blowback uh, principle. That is to say, it fires on closing. This weapon has a circular rate of 550 rounds a minute and contains only 45 moving parts. Overall length of this weapon is 17 inches. The weight is six and a half pounds without the shoulder stock in place. Our patent applies to the self-contained firing unit, which dismounts from the body of the weapon. The unit consists of the bolt, the barrel, the spring, and a unit retainer. The self-contained firing unit make it possible to quick change calibers by installing a magazine adapter and firing unit in either 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 Government 10 millimeter, or 22 long rifle and employ the same body. Uh, this weapon uh, that I'm picking up uh, has a basic selector which is a which selects in full auto and single shot mode and has a selector area for a manual safety. Uh, we've also employed uh, for uh, safety purposes, a grip safety, which I am now showing you, uh, to, allow, uh, to not allow a discharge of this particular weapon unless your hand is on the grip and depressing this particular safety, which is very similar to the government 45 auto safety. The weapon dismounts through the rear uh, by front retainer, uh, which I will now demonstrate as it comes off. And behind this, this end cap is a tool for takedown of a particular weapon in the field where you can remove the grips and the forend by using that particular tool. This is an extremely loose weapon. That is to say, the low tolerance of the mechanics reduces the manufacturing cost dramatically. The low tolerance feature, together with the simplistic design, lends greatly to assembly by unskilled labor forces as well as quick and accurate field stripping of the weapon should that be required. Okay, I will now demonstrate the takedown of the T2 submachine so gun with the bolt fully forward, removing the end cap, loosening the retaining nut, put the weapon on the full auto mode, depress the trigger, and remove the firing unit. Again, this firing unit is so designed, especially designed, to allow full auto fire with total concentrated fire without rise, where you have very little collateral damage in your targets. The weapon is reassembled by replacing the charging handle, as I demonstrated, depressing the trigger, sliding the firing unit forward, reattaching. The retaining nut, which is indexed, locking the indexer, reattaching the end cap, locking the weapon, and it is ready for fire with a full magazine of ammunition. The mechanics can be most cost effectively reproduced through powdered metal, standard sand casting, reproduction through CNC, or stampings. Under the wet firing conditions, you notice that the self-contained firing unit does exactly what the patent says. It allows non-rise of the weapon, so it is controllable. You have very little collateral damage and have concentrated fire on your target. Also, this weapon can be reduced or made longer, should that be required, as well as be silenced.